some of the leadership of the protests in relation to what it is that we've seen over the last few minutes. Pepper spray was being used by the police to disperse the crowd. We've seen all of that come to a standstill now. It does appear that the police is large and in charge in terms of exactly what is happening at this particular point in time. Uh, and it does appear that tempests are coming at this particular point in time as well in relation to what is happening. I got the indication that they're asking that the Wulamo of the Ghan traditional area as well joins them in this particular place and then they can proceed uh, to get an understanding as to how the petition will be presented onto the representatives from the presidency. But we will right now seek to also get an understanding from the Honorable Samuel Okuja to Ablakwa uh, as to what the arrangement, the expectation that a team from the presidency will be coming up here to meet you and the, the petition you have for them. Absolutely. But first of all, let me condemn what the police did. This is a peaceful match. Our people have conducted themselves so well. Look at the thousands who poured out. There were no issues, no violence. Nobody came here with a weapon. Why do you fire tear gas at innocent civilians, helpless and hapless? Now, as we speak, we've had to rush a few to the hospital. If anything happens to our fellow citizens, the police hierarchy will pay for it they will be held accountable. We condemn what they have done and we want to tell them that their duty is to protect us. They cannot take the law into their own hands and intimidate innocent citizens, helpless and hapless citizens who are only performing their civic duties. They shouldn't try that again. Now we expect that the police will comport themselves and that the representatives from the presidency will come and receive the petition. If you even look at where this barricade has been mounted, they have shown bad faith. Everybody knows that we were to terminate at Christ the King. Is this Christ the King? But what really are they afraid of? What are they afraid of? So, if, so if, if you are doing a good job, you are, you are carrying out your mandate, you are not looting the people's assets. Why should you be afraid if citizens want to pay you a visit and only present a petition? But we don't want to be confrontational. We will um, wait for them to come and receive the petition at this point. You say the police have exhibited bad faith in terms of, in terms of where you were supposed to, to, terminate, to terminate the protest. And that perhaps might have been the reason why the, the individuals were moving to, to the Chrysler Center. And you say... Exactly. Everybody knows that's the instruction we gave them at the beginning of the match, that we are marching towards the Jubilee House. The police says we should terminate at Christ the King. Is this Christ the King? This is not Christ the King. This is the uh, Coco uh, Research Guest House Junction. Christ the King is ahead. What are they afraid of? What, and then, what possible and then, reasons? And then, and then, and then when, when you have taken civilians by surprise, you decide to fire tear gas at them. We will inquire into this matter further, and certainly the police hierarchy will be dragged to parliament. They would have to answer for what they have done, because we have done our part. We have been very peaceful. We have not breached any regulation. We have followed the route diligently, meticulously. So why this surprise? Why terminate prematurely? And why fire tear gas? And now, as we speak, we've had to rush a number of people to the hospital. They better pray that there are no casualties. And for now, you say you're waiting for the delegation which will come through from the president. What happens if nobody comes here? We will keep waiting. We have the energy to wait all day. They have to come and receive the petition. And our understanding is that they inform the police hierarchy that they will be sending reps to come receive the petition. So we'll wait for them. Have you got any notification from the, the police as to the correspondence between themselves and the presidency? They only told us that when they, tem when they terminate us at the Christ the King Church, they will invite the president's representatives in the Jubilee House to come for the petition. So we are law-abiding citizens and we are waiting for them. We don't know who they are sending. And I don't... 
uh, talk to anybody in the Jubilee House. So we are waiting for them to come and receive the petition. Any days here, but do we know which hospital these persons have been taken to? The yes, I have, I, have, I have put a team on it, and uh, after the demonstration, we'll be going to visit them. I suspect that the closest hospital will be 37, and so um, they are likely to be there. But I, I'm only making an intelligent guess, because I just told them to rush them to the nearest hospital. When uh, we are done with the presentation of the petition, I will uh, promptly go to the uh, hospital. I'll follow up with the team and go and visit them. I hope that they are okay and nothing happens to them. Thank you very much. That's the, that's the Honorable Samuel Okuja Tuablakwa, who says that uh, they are displeased with the action of the police. They will drag them before Parliament to answer questions as to why force has been used, because this is not the point of termination for this particular protest. And yet still, the police has decided to terminate the, 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 the demonstration here. Uh, for now, like you heard him mention, they are still awaiting um, the delegation from the Jubilee House, which will come and, and receive the petition in relation to everything that's been transpired. But it's peace and, peace and calm now. Uh, my colleague, Imano Samani, he was on hand to provide the details as to what really transpired. And so we're still quite a few meters away from the Christ the King area where the protest is expected to have originally terminated. That did not happen. And so from the indication, uh, the interaction with Mr. Okuja Chua Blackwa, the protesters insisted on moving towards the termination point which had been communicated to them and it resulted in the scuffle and the firing of the pepper straw, the use of the pepper spray amongst other things. There's a farm police unit truck, the water cannon truck, all stationed here at this particular point in relation to what is going to happen uh, right now. We we'll seek to get an understanding a bit more from a number of the leadership of the NDC as well who've been present here all through. Big thoughts as to uh, reaction uh, in relation to everything that's transpired uh, up until this particular point in time. But it still is the hands of our demonstration by the Noto MP Samuel Okujeto Ablakwa. Fifi Kwete, uh, we can take a listen to what he's been telling the media as well. A day for the, for the people of Ghana to speak and for the day for Nanaku Fuadu Baumia and the whole collectivity of insensitive, corrupt bunch that they are to actually face the music. So that an example is set once and all for this country. Okay. Finally, finally, there was a near scuffle between the protesters and the police. What do you think of that? Fortunate because, uh, I mean, what it is we want is simply, we, I mean, we are not having any problem at all with the police. They are at the very end of the lot of the suffering themselves. So our point is no, we don't have an issue at all with the police. We have an issue with those who are, who are literally milking the country dry. So it's unfortunate that such a thing happened, but I'm happy that uh, calm has been restored. Thank you. And so that's Fifi Fiabi Kwete. He is the General Secretary of the NDC, uh, seeking to answer questions. In, in relation to the president's recent comments, we can take a listen to what answers he's been providing. Is the president any more credible at all? Does anybody actually take this president any serious any longer? A president who actually can oversee a situation where uh, somebody that he himself appointed as special prosecutor, and that person actually comes out to say that he, the president, is the one who is supervising corruption. A president who hunts out of office the Auditor General using all kinds of flimsy excuses. Does this president have any credibility when it comes to issues of corruption? I don't think any, any Ghanaian wants to take this president serious at all. He clearly has proven not to have any credibility. He has, he has supervised over the most corrupt group in the history of our country. He has not just I mean, supervised, they actually encouraged them, including his own children. His own children have become beneficiaries. Of, of things. I mean, not, not far away from here, one of his daughters owns what, some restaurant that she would never have dreamed of owning just a few years ago in opposition. Today, she's able to own that. And that's the present. So, I mean, what, what, what do you expect from him? How do you respond to... Right then, that's uh, Fifi Fiavi Kwete, traditional authorities are seeking a libation again.